What is up, Kratics? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. In this video, we're going to be customizing the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. So a ton of you guys wanted to see this in the last video, so here we are. A Jeep Grand Cherokee with a Hellcat motor thrown in it, and all we would drive on top of that. It's just an absolute monster. These things are insane in real life, especially when people modify them. They're just stupid, stupid fast. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's look at the details really quick here. So, of course, you got that beautiful Hellcat motor in there. 707 horsepower goodness in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. <laughs> it's just phenomenal. I'm sure this thing is great on gas. <laughs> Best fuel economy by far. Oh, my gosh. Super, super cool. Got all the details in here. Even back here in the trunk, I mean, very nicely done. Um, I think you can sit in the back seats as well. Yep, there you go. Look at that. Very, very cool. Tons and tons of detail. Let's back out of there. Let's hop in the driver's seat. The door panel here. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Leave it to Forza. That's not, not the horn. Start it. <laughs> Alright, see how let's see how she sounds. Oh yeah. Now what you expect from a Jeep. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. And when we drive it outside, you'll see the supercharger whine is incredible in first person. Sounds absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ahead and check out the customization options, upgrades, and tuning. Um, now, there is a body kit for this, technically, sort of. Um, it's basically like an off-road kind of build. Um, if that's what you want to go for, I'm not going for that. I'm going for more like a street track kind of sporty build. Um, so we're not going to do that. That's if you want to go for like, you know, the off-road route, which would be fun as well. This much power off-road would be super cool. But again, we're going to stick with the street route. Um, auto upgrades here. No, sorry, custom upgrade. Um, so there are some conversion options here. We have engine swaps. So, of course, you have a stock 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat V8. Sounds phenomenal. Or you can throw a V12 in it. Interesting. Or the 7.4 liter twin turbo V8. Um, yeah. And with this option, it would have over 1700 horsepower, which is just crazy to think about. But I still want to retain that Hellcat motor. I want to do a max effort build on it to see how much power we can get out of it. So we're going to keep that stock 6.2 liter V8 supercharged. And we're going to upgrade the supercharger and all that. So let's go ahead and get into that really quick drivetrain swap. You can make it rear wheel drive again. Um, Kind of defeats the purpose. The Trackhawk is known for being all-wheel drive. Um, and then body kit, we already went over that in the other option. All right, now engine. So we're gonna upgrade everything here. We got intake, fuel system, see the power going up there, race ignition, exhaust. All right, so here's how it sounds now. Now listen to this. <laughs> wow, that is... The difference is night and day. Sounds so, so much more aggressive. We're definitely doing that. Camshaft. Wow, 66 horsepower there. 15 there. How much we got so far? There we got pistons. There we go. Supercharger, 106 horsepower. Yes, please. Intercooler. All these upgrades. Oh, yeah. This should add up to a good bit. All right, that's all of that there. Now let's get into platform and handling. So brakes, we can upgrade the brakes. Yeah, why not? Plus it saves some weight and all that stuff. So do that. Uh, springs and dampers, this is a cool one. So you got race springs, lowers it. Very, very cool, a lot more stiff. Uh, I think this is a great option for this. And of course you have the rally springs and all that if you wanna go the off-road route, but we're gonna go the race route, definitely. Uh, front and rear anti-roll bars. Okay, here we go. All right, so here you have the chassis reinforcements, you know. If you want to go for, like, the roll cage and all that stuff, we're not going to do that. A uh, Weight reduction, very important one. So you're 161 pounds here, 565, uh, 64 pounds there, and then here, 1,200 pounds. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but there you go. 1,200 pound loss. Definitely want to do that. This thing is very, very heavy, so that's going to help a lot. Uh, drivetrain, clutch. Definitely upgrade that. 
of transmission. I think we're gonna. Or we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna mess with this one. Maybe just upgrade. Yeah, we'll just leave it the way it is. Um, drive line. Yep, race 30 pounds there. Differential, we're not gonna mess with that either. Um, tires and wheels. So tire compound, we're gonna do the slick race tire compound. Uh, front tire width. Let's go to the wheels first. So I, I like the Trackhawk wheels. I just feel that they're a bit simple for my taste. I've always felt that they're a bit simple for such a crazy high horsepower car. Um, obviously that's that's part of what it's supposed to be. It's kind of like a sleeper if you don't really know where you're looking at. Um, it's kind of funny, but I, I want to make it look a bit more aggressive. So we're gonna go to a special. Is it in specialized? Let me see here. Oh, yeah, specialized rim style. These right here. I love, love, love these wheels. I think they fit it very well. Um, I think it's got 20s right now. We're going to upgrade them to 21 so they're a bit bigger. It'll look a lot better as well. So we'll do that. Uh, back to front tire width. So stock width for 295s. You can go 305, 315, <laughs> or 325. Um, I think we'll do, we'll upgrade the front to a 305, and then in the rear, we'll do the 325s. Um, we already did the rims, front rim. So you got 20s, you got 17s, and then 21s. I love the 21s. We're gonna do that. Same thing in the rear. Upgrade to the 21s. Perfect. Now we're talking. That looks really, really good. All right. Continuing here, we got the arrow and appearance. So you have front bumper. So the off-road one from the other uh, option. Um, then this one's pretty cool. So it gives you a carbon splitter um, with the tow hook and all that. I just don't like the canards that much. I feel like that hurts it a bit. Uh, plus, we're going to lose quite a bit of top speed when we do a top speed run. I wish they would have had an option without the canards. That would have been very cool looking for this. Um, but unfortunately, they don't. <laughs> um, so I guess we're going to skip it for now. A rear wing. So you can do this, which to me, that, that just doesn't look right. <laughs> that looks completely awful. We're not doing that. And then hood. You can do, oh, so it's not a hood, it's a roof. Okay, so you can do the, the lights on top if you want to do that. Um, yeah, we're not we're not going to do that. Okay, and we got everything there. All right, this is going to add up to a lot. Let's see, how much is this? $77,000. Okay, but look at that, 1,050 horse almost, not bad. Uh, 4,000 pounds, 1.7 Gs, not bad. This should be a fun little build. Not quite the 1,700 horsepower one, but... I mean, it's still going to be fun nonetheless. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. All right. Now we'll go to the designs and paints. Paint car. Right here you have the manufacturer colors. So you have the red. You have the darker red. Beautiful. Love that color. You got the blue, the gray, darker gray, different grays, <laughs> silver. A white and then another white so that's all the options there now this is like a metallic black here kind of like a grayish metallic black personally not a fan I'm gonna do just an actual black I think that looks incredible on this beautiful gloss black um, continuing to the hood mirrors we're gonna do carbon mirrors why not spice it up a bit um, there's no rear spoiler option for this Okay, wheels. So we're definitely going to do these in black. Or maybe satin black. Let me see here. Yeah, matte. Okay. Brakes. So the track car comes with the stock brakes in yellow. When we upgraded them, I put them back to red. I feel like that's kind of like a characteristic of a car. That's one of the only subtle ways you know that it's a track car because of the yellow brakes. And I kind of want to put those back on there, so we're going to do that. That black and yellow going on. All right. Window tints, we're going to black those out. All right. Save to current car. Let's see how this looks. No, no, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> back out here. Forza Vista, there we go. Oh, my goodness. What a, what a difference with those wheels. That looks incredible. Lowered as well. Oh, I want to drive this. Come on. <laughs> Let's drive this thing. Oh, man. All right. Nice and easy. That's that's not easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> We'll drive drifts. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> Alright, let's do a launch with this. Let's do a launch. Here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh, barely any wheel spin either. You don't even need that launch control as built in in this game. Just full RPM and gun it. This is cool. Listen to that whine. Oh man. This must be a hell of a car to daily drive in real life. <laughs> this, this, I mean, you probably spend too much money in gas and get a few speeding tickets, so you, it's definitely going to be an expensive one. Oh, I messed that up, but we're good. Saved it. Messed up the back a bit. <laughs> not bad. It's not slow. It, it definitely moves. It mainly shines in the acceleration department. Okay, please turn. <laughs> there we go. Six gear. Back to first person. I can't get enough of that sound. So good. Alright, let's get a top speed run out of it here. Get some turns. We're in eighth gear. Try to drop it down to seventh. Alright, here we go. definitely do 200. Past that, I have no idea. <laughs> uphill, right about 201, 202, look at that. But now we're going uphill, so it's going to struggle a bit. Back down to 203, 202. Oh, keeping the 202. Now back, now it's climbing again. 206, 207. 208, here we go, downhill, 210, 211, two, oh my gosh, 212, 213, that's not bad, 214, <laughs> wow, that's pretty good, that is not bad at all, that's very, very impressive, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty impressive, 210, I think, I think that's all she got. 12, yeah, 214, 213 around there. That's not bad. Uh, and I'm sure this thing will go ridiculously fast with that uh, twin turbo V8 option. I'm sure it will fly with that because it's a lot lighter than the uh, the Raptor 6x6 that we did. Um, so this should be an interesting one with that motor. I think this is definitely a very good drag car with that engine in it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I, I love the Trackhawks. I think they're amazing vehicles. And this is definitely a fun one. Uh, over a thousand horse and all that. This is... And this thing in black with the yellow calipers and those wheels. I, I'm in love. I, I really, really like it. Oh, it came out so nice. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Remember to let me know in the comments what car you want to see me customize next. Just so I have a little bit of an idea as to what you guys are looking for. I saw a lot of Trackhawk comments uh, last video, so that's why we did this one. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.